What is up, guys? It is another fantastic Thursday morning before classes. So, okay, I have to get the first cast on film with the new reel. I just did a video over it. It is great. Just out of the box. We'll see how it fishes. But yeah, in my video where I uh, looked over this reel, I told you what line I have on it. I have 20 pound Power Pro braid in kind of like a smoke green color. And then my leader is 10 pound P-line fluorocarbon, just the clear. I don't know what it is about this spot. It looks so good. If there is a way I could like float it in my canoe or something, then it'd be absolutely perfect. But I can't catch a single fish here. And I don't really know why, because it looks so great. Maybe if I got on the other side, which I can, basically the other side is, is almost like a peninsula. It comes out into the water. Um, anyway, I don't know. We're gonna get in the car and drive to a different location. Hopefully we can actually catch some fish and then see where that, see where the day goes. Um, my boss just texted me and said that it's supposed to rain this afternoon, which I knew that it was supposed to rain this afternoon. He said I could either not work if I wanted to or come in and clean the equipment. Um, yeah, I'll let you guys decide. Good job. Good job. Good job, Lane. Nice. Oh, Lord. It's not good. Oh, gosh. Right on the edge. Real is insane. Oh, we can't even see me on the big camera now. now that I moved. Oh, he came off. Man. Ripped my, ripped my thing in half. Let's see if we can still salvage it. <laughs> oh gosh. Let's see if we can get him with this. <laughs> oh god. Oh, that was insane. <laughs> Smoked it. I'm gonna have to get a new, um, oh. oh, they're little. They gotta be little. We're still gonna try and use this. Salvage it. Oh my gosh, that is so bad. Let's see if we can get past the cut. There we go. I mean, that looks straight ghetto. This hook might be a little too big. And I bet they're goggle eye or something down there. Oh, they're little. Okay. Got to switch up jig heads. Let's see if we can get one. Dang stick out of my way. This one definitely is not going to sink as fast. Oh, he definitely had it. Man. These things are destroying my plastics. Maybe they're a little bluegill. So that's probably exactly what they are. That one felt pretty heavy though. See, look at him carrying my... There we go, get out of there. 
Oh, it's a good smallie. Get him back in. And yes, I have to throw the fish in because I'm up on the bank. I just caught one actually right there. Small mouth. small fish out there there's one <laughs> I think it's a goggle eye yep goggle eye gosh can't get out of it big one big fish look at that <laughs> I've actually never seen anyone catch oh really fish. yeah the this is a it's called a goggle eye or a oh. rock bass yeah is that a, a, a goat camp? Yeah, this is a GoPro. <laughs> yeah. Too cool. <laughs> Thanks. You too. Woo! Let's let him go. Sweet. This morning is turning out fantastic. See, that's fantastic. Lady's getting out, walking in the morning. She sees a guy catching a fish. Well, there went my jig head. Anyway, let's see if we can catch another one. <laughs> Sorry, my girlfriend's texting me. And I just about cast it in a tree. Jeez Louise. This little spot's producing though. A lot of structure. Fantastic. I'm gonna have to take my brother here because he is going to love this place. Not my youngest, youngest brother that is coming to stay with me this weekend, but <clears throat> my older youngest brother, younger, my oldest younger brother, he's 18. He's absolutely obsessed with fishing like me. I need to bring him down here because he'd enjoy catching these little, these rock bass and goggle eye, whatever you want to call them, and smallies too. I don't know if there's a possibility that I set the hook too hard, <clears throat> honestly, because <laughs> I broke the line, not like at the knot, but where it was tied onto the eye of the jig, the jig head. So <clears throat> I don't know if that's a thing. Surely you can set the hook too hard, but you wouldn't think on 10 pound P line that you could do that. Guess anything's possible. See, the other time I was catching fish off a of Ned Rig here, I was using just a watermelon, uh, half of a yum dinger with, I think it was black and red flake. So they definitely like the watermelon color. Nope, doesn't have it. <laughs> I hope you can see my rod <clears throat> just get taken off. I would say my worm's messed up or half eaten or something. Nope, it's okay. There might be a little bed down there. Never know. Hope you can see my rod, it flipping got hammered. 
Got to be a decent little school of goggle eye down there. This little stretch of creek has been very well to me, has done very well to me, or has been very good to me, however you want to put that. Caught some quality fish. Most smallmouth I've ever caught in this little stretch of creek. <clears throat> Hopefully you can hear me, the highway's over here, it's being a pain, being real noisy. Oh, got one. See, I don't have to set the hook that hard. See, I'm definitely not worried about getting them up that bank with my new rod and my, my new reel setup and line and whatnot. Oh man, it's a fatty. I don't know if you can see him. Fatty. Okay, let's get him back in. They'll be okay if I throw them back in the water. But here I put the little jig head on with the half of a yum dinger or whatever you want to put on it. Half of a Senko, the Z-Man, little TRD finesse worms. That's what that one is. Loving my rod and reel together. My reel is fantastic. Um, I really like the loose stuff. Um, like I said, I like my other reel that I have on my other rod. And this one is no different. You bring me good luck. <laughs> You bring me good luck. Yeah, you bring me good luck. <laughs> it's the same thing. But yeah. <laughs> it's pretty nice. <laughs> Thanks. You too. Awesome. Okay, so I tied the Palomar knot on my jig head and I'm not setting the hook as hard. <laughs> that way hopefully I don't break off a jig and lose my worm and jig head and everything all together. Oh my gosh, this rock bass is huge. This rock bass is huge. Oh my God. Goggle eye, whatever you want to call it, guys. <gasps> it is huge. Does not do it justice. I'll take a picture of it. Oh man. It's a decent fish. Coming towards me. No, they just fight hard. I knew this spot looked good last time. And it has, it has come true. I was correct. There's a school of rock bass down there. Goggle eye. I'm calling them rock bass because I don't really care because that's what I've been saying the whole time. That's what they are. Whatever. Goggle eye. You can call them whatever the heck you want. Guys, the shoal was good to me again this morning. I am headed back to the Hacienda. Get ready for class. Oh my gosh, these Thursday mornings have saved me. Literally saved me. They're such a huge stress reliever. No matter what I have going on on Fridays, I can go out, do a little bit of fishing, and it really calms my nerves. So, hope you guys enjoy this video. A lot of fish catches, a lot of fun. Get out there, enjoy your little creeks, streams, ponds, whatever you got, and I will see you on the next one.